closer you look, the more you find on these reef systems. And every time we go out snorkeling with guests, we see something new. My name is Katie Mills Orchid, and I'm an undersea specialist for Lindblad Expeditions. I've always been fascinated with the underwater environment. Ever since I was a child, I found that the closer you look at things, the more you tend to see. We're exploring the Belize Barrier Reef System, which is not only the largest reef system in the northern hemisphere, but the second largest in the world. It spans about 300 kilometers and runs parallel to the shoreline of Belize from north to south. And in 1996, it was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for the diversity that we find within it. So the basis of our reef is made up of hard, stony corals, which then everything can live on top of. We've got soft corals, like fans and gorgonians, that wave with the currents. And then we have reef fish that dart in and out of all the different little nooks and crannies. And if you're lucky enough, you might get the chance to see a nurse shark or maybe a large stingray hanging out on the edge of the reef. Barrier reefs protect the coastline by dampening storms as they come through. Hurricanes are ever present in this area, so by protecting the reef, we can then protect the coastline of Belize. The Belize Barrier Reef remains largely intact compared to other reef systems around the world, which are being struck hard by bleaching, pollution, and overfishing. And a lot of that has to do with Belize's initiatives to reestablish areas that have been hit hard by hurricanes, as well as to implement fishing regulations and national parks around our most vulnerable sites. Getting to explore the Belize Barrier Reef as a snorkeler or a scuba diver is an amazing experience because it shows us what a healthy reef system could be like if we allow nature to thrive. As an undersea specialist, I work to help connect the guests to the undersea environment of the region we're traveling. They can get up to nine feet. To educate them a little bit and to inspire them to see the beauty of where we are. I do this through nightly recaps where I can present footage that I've shot during the day, underwater scuba diving and snorkeling. We get to look a little bit deeper at everything that we've seen that day, and it helps spark questions that then create conversations, and we all get to know the region a little bit more in depth.